I see. Treat me nice, please. What is going on, my babies? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Beaver. It is Scorpion Rise Several. I am back at it again. One time for the one time for my lovely Pisces. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of you guys who has clicked, liked, and subscribed to this video or any one of my videos. I hope all of you guys are comfortable. Pull up a chair because we about to go there. Okay, you feel me, boo-boo? facts so listen if there's anyone that would like to book a personal and private reading with Mira, with Shira, with Vera, Scorpion Reds. Only thing you need to do is click the about tab, my dear. All right, my pricing list and um, how to connect with me on Instagram is right there on the about tab. Okay, I do my video readings through Instagram. And if you don't have Instagram, I will um, get you set up on um, Google Hangouts. Only thing you need to do is email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. I want to give a big shout out, a big thanks to everyone who's been sending love, light, and support throughout this COVID shutdown. Um has been supporting by donating decks, sending in a dollar or two for these videos resonating and just, you know, just sending overall just love in general over here. Like, I really appreciate it. And I'm using some of my favorite decks. This is uh, my Santa Morte deck, which I got for my birthday, which you guys sent to me, which I greatly appreciate it. Y'all got me my sugar skull right here. I don't know if you can see. Can you see my sugar skull? Y'all got me my sugar skull. My baby Leecher got me that. And um, I forgot who sent me my Santa Morte deck. But thank you so much. And um, what is this deck? This is the Dreaming Way Tarot. Which is a new deck that you guys sent. So again, blessings and thanks to you guys. Um, so if you want to send any support. Of course, all of those links and things like that. To Amazon Wishlist, the Cash App, the PayPal. All of that stuff is over here on that uh about tab um you know i always give thanks to the creator and give all honor to god before i get into any of the readings or any of the messages so let's just give him thanks for a second father god thank you so much for bringing us here today for the sign of pisces father god treat us nice please you know what we have been behaving okay we have been behaving we have been upstaging we have been transforming we've been shedding old skin father god we're feeling nice silky and new and refreshed father god and blessed in the name of jesus father god we just doing our thing out here we just thank you so much for just showering your love so abundantly over us all of our crops are growing very well and steadily we swimming upstream father god we can't complain about anything we just asking for just protection and steady growth father god so just give us guidance for um pisces for august 2020 show me the money season thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons that you've given to us in the past present and future and we're going to continue to carry on amen the marathon uh, the marathon will continue all right let's get into this so Alright, so you guys, I am going in the blinds. I'm going in the blind. And what I mean by that is I'm just going to do a shuffle. I'm going to put the cards face down. And as it is revealed to me, it will be revealed to you. Okay. So I don't normally do my readings in this way, but I did a personal and I did the personal this way. And I was like, hmm, let me try this for the readings. And it's been pretty good but so that just flipped all the way out um yeah let me do a shuffle with my side all right all right there the offering the offering you know what when i tried to do the scorpios reading the offering came up and then I scrapped the video and I redid it. Um, and then, ooh, what's under this deck? I gotta look now. The offering and arrows. A lot of people been getting arrows. Arrows is like being open to love and the love of just everything, and just spiritually speaking, blessings into your life. Just you just having erotic fantasies, like a sexual desire and chemistry towards nature and everything just abundant you know what i'm saying just like a magnetism so let me take that 
because this this means someone's open to sexual passion and desire and things you may be reaching out and trying to offer something because your desire and it could be just overall just in temptation is getting to you right now i don't know what's going on with this lion gates energy or the boom phases i've been speaking to a lot of people and they've been saying like i don't know it's just been like this sexual urgent desire that's been on people and it's been hella crazy it's been hella fucking crazy and it's been putting us in a place where it's just like i feel like we want to give into this temptation this desire a little bit and it's like you might be offering your sensual intimate delectable experiences with other people and you, you you're offering your love and kind words and speech and just all of that stuff to someone very special Hmm. So let's see what we got. You're definitely reaching out to someone. And you could be whispering sweet nothings in their ears. Telling them how much you appreciate them. You know. They just say you won't expose them to anything difficult. I like that. You know what I'm saying? No one wants to be exposed to anything difficult. They just said, I won't treat you like the rest. I'm going to treat you like the best. Yes! Come on, you better go ahead. Pisces, treat me nice, please. Look, I ain't going to treat you like the rest. I'm going to treat you like the best. Come on, Pisces. You better speak to... Listen. You better speak that sha -la -la in my ear. Speak that sha -la -la in my ear. Sha -la -la. Come on, Pisces. Listen, I, listen, I'm listening now. What you offering, Pisces? Shit. Strength. Stability. Real. Okay, come on, Pisces. Shout to the fucking la la la. Listen, you like, I need a warrior in bed. <laughs> we got strength and endurance. Offering. Eros. Desire. Passion, intimacy, the want of love, the love of love. You know what I'm saying? The resurgence to desire something and to go for something that's been missing in your life. That's basically what this means. The strength to put yourself out there to offer yourself to someone. You know? Anyway, I don't need this book. I already read that. I, that's basically what it means. You know what I'm saying? It says everything that you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. So everything that you've gone through up until this moment, spiritually, have got you to this place where you're able to offer yourself thoroughly to something that you desire with every inch within your being. Like you really want this. You really want to express yourself in this way. And you want it to express itself back to you. And it's like, I can't expect someone to give me anything if I'm not offering something just as lucrative in exchange. So, a Pisces has upgraded, upstaged, and reupholstered, okay, their stuff. Make sure they're offering something good. Okay, so I'm looking at I'm looking at this card again. I definitely feel like y'all sent out a kite, y'all sent out a communication. You see how that bird is flying off? Like this pigeon, this is like a messenger pigeon or something like that that has a message or something. I want to say like you are having Building up the strength and the courage. I'm even seeing like. I feel like there's a Pisces woman there. It's like she has a crush on someone on like Facebook or like Instagram or something. And I feel like this person looks at this person with a lot of sexual desire. You know. 
and really wish to speak these jewels to this person but i feel like this person has been scared to like reach out like that and to offer herself out that because they're scared of the exchange but it's telling you to like to have strength and just to put yourself out there um to be courageous you know eros again it means love as a desire eroticism sensuality passion playfulness sexual health in the dark it means madness projection obsession you see what i'm saying so it's like it's no and projection can be like oh i'm thinking negatively on myself so i'm not reaching out to this person because of my thoughts that I have on myself so that could be you might think that you're not that pretty or you can think that you're you don't have that much going for yourself and that this person but don't won't talk to you it doesn't mean that they won't talk to you it means that you are projecting your insecurities on them and to why you're not doing something because you think that that's how they feel and that's really not how they feel that's how your ass feel do you are you getting me because I know that was confusing but it really the fuck ain't do you feel me so it's like if you're looking at someone with this desire and with this urge and with these fantasies and stuff, like, don't, <sighs> now they're telling me curiosity killed the cat. Let me slow the fuck down because I don't know why the fuck they just told me that. Let me rewind, select it, and clarify these cards real quick because they just said curiosity killed the cat. Let's rock. Judgment in the reverse. The lovers. You got the offering with the lovers card. So again, this is someone that you're definitely very committed to your affections for them. And I feel like you want to see if the affections are being reciprocated. But in some reason, with this judgment in the reverse, I feel like the offer is being rejected. Or maybe the terms or the agreement, it's just like, it's... It's being rejected or it's being denied for some reason. Like something isn't fair. Something isn't fair. And I want to know why. With why. Seduction in the reverse. So this can be like a, a, a love affair situation. This could be like a one-off. A drive-by fruiting. Bitch, this could be a drive-by fruiting. Okay, Mrs. Doubtfire, bitch. This could be a drive-by fruiting. Like a, a pear just boom, just hit you in your head. You understand what I'm saying? Something just like, hold on, what the fuck was that exactly, bitch? It was a drive-by fruiting. Girl, this thing just hit you and you don't know what the fuck just hit you. This is attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. So I feel like the reason why this is in the reverse right here with this judgment being in the reverse. I feel like spirit wants you to think about something. It's like, are you just being seduced into a third party situation? Like, is this something that is very is going to be very attractive in the end? You know what I'm saying? So it's just like. Take good care of judgment that you have on people and what you're putting yourself into because at the end of the day, you're going to have to answer to every single thing that you do. So, um, I do feel like there's some type of chemistry on the person's end who is looking at some. I, I feel like there's someone who is looking at someone that is desiring someone that wants someone and wants to speak this energy into existence because they really do want to offer themselves to this person because they're experiencing a, a lover's thing right now i don't know if this could be in someone's head but i definitely feel like whoever this is that is feeling this lover's energy it's like you feel like oh no this this is the one this 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 is the one that could get the key but there's something that is not fair that is not legally that will not in some type of way, like this person cannot thoroughly honor this contract. I don't know if it's because you guys work together and there's a no fraternization policy. I don't know if you're already in a relationship and you're trying to see your way out of the relationship before you can thoroughly speak to this person. Like it's someone that is one foot in, one foot out. Let's see. The moon, secrets. Again, there's something hidden. There's something that's not being revealed. And it's like... Listen, I'm, and I really do, why am I feeling like it's secret on your part? It's like you need to look within yourself and look at your reflection and see, like, if you get yourself into this, are you going to like what you see when your reflection is hitting back at you? 
it's something in the darkness it's something hidden i feel like there's a desire to be satisfied and to be fulfilled and to be and you might have a a want or a desire to be with someone that legally you cannot be with i don't know if this person is already engaged already married like it could like it's something where you guys could never have a thorough binding and clad contract because this person is already obligated in another contract so there's like no double dipping like that's kind of what i'm getting and it's like something is being it, yeah, it's like your intuition intuitively you know something ain't right and there's some reason why you keep getting the short end of the stick. Like things are not ever. Like if you got five things on the dotted line that needs to be checked off. It's always two. You only can get three. There's never the full five. You understand what I'm saying? So it's just like why I can't never negotiate this contract to get it the way that I want. Like this always a fucking issue. It's because it's something else interfering in this that you don't see but deep down inside your reflection it's like you you know you know what i'm saying your intuition is guiding you to tell you to have strength in the situation regardless of the fact that there is love let's see what we got here we got the ten of swords the ten of swords is a situation where it's this, where someone is reflecting back to see how they could have changed the scenario or a situation because something went on too long it went on too far it 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 evolved in too many people it got way too out of hand um I, i'm they're telling me too many hands are, were involved it's like too many hands were involved and even on this you see the two skulls on the moth or whatever the heck that is it's like Two different faces, two different places type of thing like that. Two different faces, two different places. So again, like I'm trying to tell you, it's something that's secretive. The lovers, you know, the lovers is exchanged between two people that really love and care with, about each other. And it's something being ordained and it seems like it's being offered and gifted to you by God. But not quite because you guys might love each other or it might be love there but at the same time it's a love that hurts so bad because it's something and it's the stabbing and it's this aching feeling of things just never successfully being able to finalize you're never the successor you're not being the victor you're never going to be the final winner of the judgment you know what i'm saying and it's showing a lack of judgment because it's like you keep allowing something to go this way because of your love and continuing offering and desire it could be because of their sexual desire for somebody and like it said this card eros could mean madness you know what i'm saying it could mean madness it means that you're projecting you know what i'm saying like it can even mean to the, to the point where you're rejecting, you're projecting, excuse me, you're projecting your situation into your reflection because it's like allowing yourself to be pulled into a third party situation, having lack of judgment when you know better, being seduced. Going against your better judgment when you feel the intuition, but at the same time trying to be strong. But allowing things to keep happening over and over and over and over again because of your love. The hammer. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. So, what they're saying is like, things are never going to change. God, what did I say? Because, like, earlier I said something and then I heard something and then I was like, hold on, let me read these cards because I don't know why they just said that to me. God, I completely forgot about what I heard, but, uh, it's like, it's 
it's like you're sabotaging your further advances in life the more that you keep offering and giving yourself to this person and allowing this person to have some type of sexual control over you it's like your sexual desire sexual urges keep you in a, in a place where you're constantly offering offering to this person because it's like you're looking for them to give you something that you're lacking you know what i'm saying it's like you're looking for them to say the right words or you want to be able to offer and say the right words to them to finally be the victor of this judgment like be, being able to finally seduce to be able to finally win like you know what i'm saying but you keep putting yourself in a way to constantly get hurt over and over and over and over again. And it's like you're sabotaging your future investments of really finding love because it's something about this situation. It's like you're just not going to win. So stop sabotaging. Stop sabotaging yourself. Like intuitively, you looking inside yourself. Intuitively, you know that this is not healthy. And your desire to love, your desire to be wanted, your desire to give yourself to a healthy situation is still there. I feel like you just need to have strength to stop allowing the same shit happen over and over again. What is this? The temperance in the reverse. The temperance in the reverse is someone who's kind of lost their way. They, they, The faith no longer exists here. Like it's complete out of back, out of, out of whack out of balance it's like someone has with this ten of swords here it's like something has happened to them so many times that it completely just diminished their self-esteem and their belief that things will get better and that they can like it's already bad that this situation has been a complete disaster but it's like i can't even see what a happy life is outside of this situation because of this situation. So again, that's where the madness comes and the projecting and things like that. And it's like you need to don't sabotage your future because you are offering and you want to give so much. But you're giving to the wrong type of love. You know what I'm saying? Like you just have to. Stop being so repetitive because that's the only way the Ten of Swords can happen. The only way someone can build a village on your pain is if you keep putting yourself in that place. You understand? Can't nobody build a village on your pain and on your tears and on your suffering if you don't keep allowing them to regain strength off of your energy too you do you understand what i'm saying like i don't under like do y'all get it like it's certain people that literally get off of stepping on other people and treating other people like shit and like if you're going to lay down and allow them to do it by by golly they're going to fucking do it they're going to do it and it makes them feel empowered because it's like this idiot with lack of judgment don't know no better keeps laying there and allowing me to step on them because this person desires me to want and love them so much you know what i'm saying they continuously offer because I know that they love them and I can continue to do that. And it's like, you can't lose your way. You got to have faith that true love, that someone that really truly cares about you really does exist. You have to rebalance yourself. You have to pour a little bit of that faith and that love into yourself. But if you don't have any faith and you really do think that this is it and you're going to you can overcome this lack of judgment. You just got to have strength. You got to overcome this temptation. And you got to look at shit for what it is. Intuitively, you know what it is. Like, don't go searching in the darkness when the light is staring at you right in your face. You don't like your reflection in the situation. Period. And you know that there's some shit going on that's hitting that has yet to be found. So, I feel like there's, like... <sighs> hand of cards it says take a chance a risk being strategic options not showing your hand gambling sometimes you got to play with the cards that are dealt it looks like you've been dealt a bad hand here but with good fucking intentions you understand what i'm saying it just seems like someone that was seduced by someone that was some bullshit and i i want to say like you you lost yourself in a situation and it took your hope, it took your faith because you allowed someone to step on you overkill. Hurt you so much that you completely have to rebuild and restructure yourself. 
What is this? The Ace of Cups in the reverse. You can't love anybody else until you learn to love yourself. Because just because this situation is over and this person, another person just like this same shit, different toilet will still present itself to you and it will happen all over again. And if you don't realize how to reassert yourself and to love yourself and to regain the balance and faith, you know what I'm saying? And play the hand of the cards that was dealt to you. Look at the options that you have. You don't have to continue to sit there and allow someone to seduce you reel you back in with secrets illusions a lot like you know this is illusions this is fairy tales the uh, the moon is like someone chasing an illusion you know what i'm saying someone chasing an illusion chasing something that is not love that's not love you understand what i'm saying loving is something that is actually giving to you not you where you're continuously offering because of your desires of what you wish this person would give to you. So it's like. When push comes to shove. And along the bridge falls down. Sometimes people go why me. And God says why not you. You lay there and you let. You know what I'm saying. You knew the bridge was falling. And you lay there. And you lay there. So you can't complain about you getting hurt. If you see a bridge falling. And you go run to it. You got to look at your own reflection like there's no mystery. There's no secret. You have to have strength to not lay there and love yourself. You cannot expect people to love you if you can't even love yourself enough to walk away from something that is not given to you the way that you're given to it. If someone keeps not choosing you, this is like someone like you're not winning a contest. Someone not choosing you or someone telling you that you don't match up or you're not qualified or you know what I'm saying? And it's like. No, you know what I'm saying? You got to love yourself. It says the Grim Reaper in the reverse. So this is someone not wanting to let go. It says the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. This Grim Reaper is in the reverse. So it's like this is a situation that you really didn't want to end. Like regardless of what this person did to hurt you. It's almost like this is almost having to be hammered into your head. Like this isn't love. Like it's almost like me beating the cards. I'm having to hammer it into your head. You know what I'm saying? And it's like... You don't see that this was just a fuck like seduction like this isn't love. You understand if this person has you and someone on the side and you just, you know, this isn't love. It doesn't matter what type of illusion you try to feed into your head. I know that you want to give to this. I know, I know, but you're sabotaging yourself. You're hurting yourself. And with this ten of swords, like this situation is over. It's done and over. But if you don't check yourself and reflect and really look at what happened here someone else that is very much so capable of doing the same thing will do the same thing to you last card you got the four swords in the reverse so the four swords in the reverse is someone that needs to take the time to heal that is taking the time to um go within their self and has separated their self and has secluded their self from the outside world to kind of you know like i said to reflect and and and, and figure out well, what's my obligation to myself and what are these people's obligations to me and how obligated am I am to them to give a fuck about? You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you want me, I want you, but the same things that I want in you, you don't want in me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not obligated to you, nor are you obligated to me, especially if we're not fighting on the same playing field like I love you but the love that you have for me you don't really want the key to my love you know what I'm saying so if it's like if you don't want the key then why me why me why I'm gonna keep you know what I'm saying like I love you and I love the thought of loving you and I love the thought of loving us and it's like I love to keep offering myself to it but at the end of the day like if I'm not if I'm gonna keep losing this contest what the fuck is the point you know what I'm saying like I had to have the strength and, and, and recognize within myself like it's my urgent desire to be wanted and to be desired and to be kept and to be held and to be hold. I feel like it's leading into more trust. It's, it's like basically what I'm getting here and I'm about to put these away. Basically what I'm getting here is like someone's desire for affection and love allow them to fall victim to an illusion of something that really wasn't real. Um, no matter what this person says or do or does, it's like 
you needing to look in yourself and recognizing that it was just a fling. It was just a third party affair. Like, and the more that you continue to override what you know is true. True because of the actual factual judgment of the situation, the outcome of the situation. If it keeps coming out being negative, you can't continue to look at yourself in the mirror and tell you tell yourself that shit is roses. Shit is not roses. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't matter. You know, you have to look at what it all boils down to. And you have to have the strength. I understand that you love this person. I get it. But this person doesn't want the key. This person doesn't want the responsibility. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been able to build a tower in the village on your broken heart and your tears. There's two faces on this butterfly. And sometimes you be dealing with people with two faces and that are two-faced. You know what I'm saying? Don't allow people to keep stepping on you and stabbing you in your back. Overkill. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are not worthy of you. And this is a card of betrayal. This is a card of being backstabbed. This is a card of being let down and misused and abused. And don't ever let nobody do that to you ever again. This is being hammered. Because you really need to let go. Like there's no second chances. Do not look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that, that, that the shit is roses, baby. It's not. You need to let it go. Sometimes the Grim Reaper is your best friend. Because sometimes we be holding on to shit that God knows he trying to tear from us. And we be trying to hold on to it so goddamn bad. Listen, you got to look at the way that the cards are dealt. And you got to play it like that. Don't ever lose faith. Always rely on your strength. We chase faith, not fear. Don't ever chase and rely on the fear that I'm never going to be happy. I'm never going to find someone that loves me. I'm the, that's not loving yourself. When you tell yourself that and you allow that to be a constant thought that resurges in your head, that is not you loving yourself. That's self-abuse. And you're not going to do that. You have to go in and do that self-reflection for a reason. You're coming out of this seclusion. I want you to come out with your head held high and able to apply the right cards. You understand? Sometimes we can have a shitty ass hand when we play in spades. But if you know how to play spades, you can come out a winner even with a shitty ass hand. Church. And that's for my card players. Because don't act like y'all ain't never had a fucked up ass hand. But if you know how to play your cards right, bitch. And if you got a good partner, <laughs> listen. You can shake, rattle, and roll. Have strength. Strength and stay engaged. Listen, Pisces, treat me nice, please. This has been your reading. I love you. Peace.